Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the trendy social media post design for the furniture and it will be your great experience to learn how to make the social media poster design by the Photoshop. So if you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification. So let's start the tutorial. Here at first go into the file and taking new options and then I'll take that 2000 pixel 2000 pixel giving the name furniture okay and RGB color mode because of I want to publish it in a web that's why I'm just made it into the RGB color mode and hit the create button we got our artboard blank okay now I'm going to the solid color and taking like ash color background okay I'm using here two software that means one is Photoshop and another one is Illustrator because of some of the shape I have to make in the Illustrator which is really easy and I'll paste it in a Photoshop which is convenient for me because uh, if you, you know, want to make those shape in a Photoshop um, that would be more you know, like complex task that's why I'm using two tools which is uh, one of the Illustrator and another one is like photoshop that's nice okay first of all i'll take a background uh, from the place embedded options which is the wall or white type wall that's good and making it bigger and changing the blending mode into the lighten and hit the tick button okay lighten that's good and now i'll place the shape over there and uh, do other things in this case i'll make this one a little bit of down fill and i'll make this one like that that's good okay now i'm going to the illustrator file and those shape i'll make so this one is normal shape this one is another normal shape okay fine I'm going to the rectangle tool making the rectangle like this okay and here is round cor corner options making this one a little bit brown before that press a from the keyboard and make this one press the and like uh, here the arrow keys make this one like that you can press the shift and hold it and you can make this okay again going to the selection tool and the uh, like direct selection tool make this one a little bit of round like that okay that's fine now that's good i'll make this one a little bit of like this okay i'll go to the object here and go into the path and like uh, uh, offset path from here i'll use 15 pd and hit ok that's fine here is two shape and i'll take color from here or you can take the orange color from here or you can change it color according to the furniture which i will use in that like a photoshop so selecting the down control of command c down shape and control of command v and hit the ok button that's pretty much easy and make this one upper side of the all layers that's good making this one uh, bigger by pressing ctrl t for the like transformation command okay that's fine placing it out that's good and now you can make this one like smart object as well it could be your convenient point to change up the color but i want to make this one like pixels for reducing the uh, like size from here so making this one bigger okay that's good and placing over there so uh, our down shape will be orange color and upper shape will be the according to the photo that means uh, we'll use this placeholder for the you know, photo clipping mask so going to the file and place embedded options here is our stock photos and you can use your photography as well so or your client which you know, photo you know, given from or provide from your client okay that's fine this one is the upper and the lower one i'll go to the blend tool and then going to the like uh, color overlay options and you can pick color from here you can choose color from this uh, couch or sofa that's good so this one press on the recommend deep i would like to make this one like that okay or you can make this one a little bit of bigger that's a nice way how to make this one 
and now we'll use the uh, like uh, this shape how to make this shape this shape is too much easy going to the rectangle tool again and making this one like rectangle like that and after that a from the keyboard and selecting the upper portion and press the shift and the right arrow key you can make this one like rhombic shape and press v that means the selection tool and going to the direct selection tool and make this point press the shift and uh, select the another round point and make this one a little bit of round that's fine so this is our shape so you can uh, take color from here this is our color selecting this controller command c and controller command v or that's fine making this one a little bit of a smaller a little bit of like that so this photo should be more bigger if i just make this one like that okay that's fine now i'll make the color going to the blending options and going to the color overlay options and previous color already take from here okay that's fine and here some uh, icons and numbers and uh, the letter so icon you can get icon from the free or uh, flat icon on a common theme it's got a common team making this one a little bit smaller and the text i used over there so you can easily use that so this icon i collected from the flat icon and that text i used here only from the text tool one is a bold font and another one is the uh, light light font i used here the poppins font family which is really nice and amazing because of we are getting uh, lots of options in our font families like medium italic and semi bold bold extra bold black and black italic so that's nice and now I'll write down the title over there that is the uh, like uh, future furniture or like minimal furniture like that or modern furniture that's good and I'm making this one into bold shape making the font size 48 that's good and cap it into lines should be like uh, minus 25 actually not these this one gap it into lines so i'm taking 48 fonts and i'll make this one 36 okay if you want you can scroll the mouse wheel and it will be increase or decrease make this one a little bit smaller not too bigger okay we can do one thing uh, we can just uh, place this one this shape this shape and this shape press control of quantity and making this one a little bit of like this in this case we have to make the sofa like that so the main uh, goal or main focus should be in a sofa because of this one is a furniture advertisement uh, you have to like drag attention of customer which product you are selling so this icon and text and this one and this one so we should make this one crew and this one is the call button that means this one is a call button we can edit this one okay this one and the icon control command t and we'll make them proper alignment that's good i'll provide color to color actually upper one and downside one like this the upper one should be like black or ash color so i'm choosing color from this and that's good and the down color should be from here that means in this orange okay modern furniture and the detail of the furniture go, going to the text tool and selecting the area and the font size should be 12 and the line between or gap between two lines i'll make this one auto or you can make this one more smaller okay i hope this one is a nice way so i'm using here the demo text you can use your uh, like uh, detail about the the product over there that's good and here will be the button that button should be like that and button color will be uh, this white or ash type i would like to use the black one it will be more prominent if i use the black one okay that's fine and write down something like a shop noun so i used here the white one so you can do that as well white color in this shape so you can easily select this shape and double press you can choose the white color okay in this case you have to make this one like uh, add some drop shadow it will help this one 
to recognize the shape little bit of subtle changes so if you want to change up the shadow okay that's fine and then that's good okay show shop now it will be the upper side of this here some color swatch i made the color swatch like that so that one is another easiest process making some smaller uh, rectangle in a illustrator making them a little bit of round before making this one round going to the direct selection tool and make this one a little bit of room big and then you should make this one a little bit of round like that okay Ctrl command v and press the alter option button to copy this one and then press Ctrl or command d so you'll get the same uh, gap between two uh, shapes and i from the color picker and select ones so you will get the color from here and copying these three and paste those things here so this one is like color swatch uh, that means uh, which furniture you are taking uh, those color is like that and that is the color swatch uh, meaning uh, which is over there and here is the logo you can use your company logo i'm using here demo logo and place the logo into the proper alignment so this one is the easiest process to make the creative way how to make the like a professional uh, post design for the furniture for your client so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video is when i'm signing out today don't forget to subscribe my channel and bye bye